Good afternoon, Estee Edit Babes. My name is Jessica Gilmartin, and I'm going to be taking over this Snapchat today. We are going to be doing a fun, easy, beautiful springtime look. A little bit about me, just so you guys know, I have been a freelance makeup artist for 10 plus years. I've worked on photo shoots as well as editorial, and I'm excited to be here with you guys. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes using the Metallic Shadows. These are absolutely gorgeous. It's a cream on top and powder on the bottom, but we're going to create a fun look. All right, so first up, I'm going to take the Metallic Shadow in light speed, and we're going to just use our fingers for this look. So you don't need any special tools. So first, I'm going in with the color Light Speed, and I'm using the cream shadow part of it first, and I'm just tapping it into the crease using my pinky and upward motion. And to feather out the edges a little bit more, I'll take my ring finger and just lightly tap out the edges. You always want to use your ring finger on your eyes because it is such a delicate skin. And now I'm going in with the color Lunar Orbit, and I'm just going to take this on the outer and inner portion of the eye, creating like a little V shape. And now I'm putting it on the inner portion of the eyelid. Remember, just light little motions. We're just using our fingers here, and you can kind of blend it out. Okay, so now that is complete, we're kind of creating a halo eye. As you can see, I'm leaving this blank space in the middle. I'm going to go in with Meteor Shower on my pinky and just do the outer edges. So I'm just tapping in Meteor Shower just on this outer edges, and I'm just going to really, really work this product in light tapping motion. All right, so now that I have the cream shadows on, I'm going to go in with Meteor Shower in the loose pigment, and we're going to tap that on in this blank section right here. So I apply this loose pigment right in the center there, tapping it on, and then I blend it out using my ring finger on the edges. And the greatest thing about using your fingers is you can just take another finger if you need to clean it up a little bit and just kind of blend that out on the upper part of the lid. All right, and now I'm going in with the color Lunar Orbit, and I'm just putting that right here on the bottom of the lid in the center to just create more depth. So I just took a makeup wipe and cleaned up underneath my eyes, and now I'm going to take the color Light Speed, and we're going to put that on the inner corner and the brow bone. And now going in with the color Light Speed, I'm just going to go in the inner corner of my eye using a soft round brush. And now going on the brow bone, I'm just going to tap the Lunar Orbit on the brow bone. And you guys can screenshot the next pick for the three metallic shadows that I used for this eye look. Now I'm going in with the edgiest mascara, it's the up and out, and this is the curl or lift portion of the mascara wand. And when I apply mascara, I take the wand and I press it all the way against that lash line to kind of create a slight liner effect, and then I wiggle it up. I absolutely love this side of the wand, which is the lift side, to get my lower lashes. I mean, look how defined my lower lashes look. It's amazing. Now it's time to move on to the face, and I'm going to go in with the Pore Vanishing Moisturizer, which is a matte hydrator and primer. Okay, so when I use this product, I like to tap it in. I find that it looks better and really works in filling in those pores. And I focus on the areas where my pores are the worst, which for me tend to be my forehead, 
my cheeks, my nose, and then right here on my chin. What I absolutely love about this moisturizer primer is the fact that it is oil-free and it also has salicylic acid, so it helps with pore clogging oil. All right, so now I love the pore vanishing stick. I actually like to use this after the moisturizer step because I can go into the areas where the pores are more visible. So for me, those areas are the tip of my nose and then right here on my chin and then this little spot here on my forehead. So in the spring and summertime, I tend to like my skin to show through a lot more than a whole bunch of foundation, especially with the fact that I start to get that sun kiss glow. So, so I love using the Flash Illuminator. It is such a beautiful product to either mix in with a little bit of BB cream or on its own. And this one is morning light. When I use the Flash Illuminator, I use two pumps to one pump of foundation and then a flat top brush. And I just work the product in. And now going in with the night light flash illuminator, I'm just gonna tap it on my cheeks and then tap a little bit on my forehead on both sides. And don't worry, it looks scary. It totally looks scary, but I'm going to blend it in using my ring finger and my middle finger. And we're just gonna tap, tap, tap the product in. All right, so after I work the product in, you guys can see it is such a beautiful glow. No joke, the night light and morning light mixed together, the perfect skin. So now I'm gonna go in with the Barris blush and I'm gonna use the color First Lover. I mean, look at this color. How gorgeous is this? So I'm taking a dual fiber brush and I'm just working the blush into the apples of the cheeks and then kind of blending outwards. And using a fluffy brush, I'm going to highlight the top of my cheekbones using the Flash Illuminator Powder in Heat. And I also love highlighting right above my brow bone to just further that whole summer glowy goddess look, which is so in right now. And last but not least, I love with a dewy look, a good nude lip. So I'm going in with the Barris Lip Contour Pencil in Bare Bay. When I line my lips, I just take it slightly above the lip line. And I do have uneven lips where this one is a little bit shorter. So I line out just a little bit more. And I even take the lip pencil and go in the center of the bottom of the lip and the center of the top of the lip. And this is to create a more pouty looking lip. And then I went in with the new Barest lip color, which is in bare beige, right over top of that liner, and it is such a beautiful color. All right, guys, that is it for this look. I really hope that you enjoyed it. It's a super easy brown smoky eye with a beautiful dewy skin and a nude lip. The next few screens are going to be just a reminder where you can find me as well as a complete picture of all of the products used to create this look. I had so much fun being on here with you babes and I want to say thank you so much to Esta Edit for having me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look and I look forward to seeing your recreation.